a family was riding in the car and Johnny, the second youngest of the five, was sitting in the back, this ear-to-ear -ear grin. And his mother looked back and said, Johnny, what, what's going on? And he just said, I am free from sin. His mother said, Johnny, you stay like that. The family had just come from confession. St. Paul reminds us, for freedom, Christ has set us free. So do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Of course, I won't call on anyone, but what enslaves you? What holds you captive? What can you not live without? What are you addicted to? Self-righteousness? Indifference? Workaholism? Substances? Liquid or solid? Immodest images? Unkind speech? Of course, if you say, oh, none of these, then perhaps denial. I always loved, our psychologists at the seminary used to say, well, we, we all have irrational beliefs. If you think you don't have any irrational beliefs, well, guess what? That's the first irrational belief. Right. Whatever it is, renounce it, go to confession, become free. The battle may take time. But remember, it is better to be a free warrior than a complacent slave. Brothers and sisters, come to freedom.